to my snap page. Oh yeah, it's my best friend's birthday! Okay, give me a second. Oh my god, oh my gosh. So a little birdie told me, it's your birthday! Yay! Happy birthday! <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Melissa and Kate. And we are here to do a nail polish tag. Uh, a couple of, uh, I guess about last week, I was tagged by uh, someone called the World of Co, C-O-S. On Instagram, she had created this tag. It's the hashtag two Maddy colors. Very clever. She decided she was going to bring in the resident nail polish expert. Right. This is a tag you can do on Instagram. I asked you all if you'd like to see a video. It was pretty positive that we do a video mm -hmm. together because she is the expert. Not really. So we're just going to dive right in. And since Kate has them all written down in front of her, she's going to be our mistress of ceremonies tonight. Okay. So the first one is brand you would recommend to your mother. Well, I would recommend to her. Okay. And that you would recommend to your mom. Yes. So I'll just, a quick little story about my mother growing up. She wore nail polish every day. She always had her nails done, and she always did them at home, and she pretty much wore the same color all the time. It was very much a nudie beige, but, um, and she didn't seem to be particularly loyal to any particular brand, so I would probably introduce her to Essie, because I don't think she's ever owned any Essie nail polish. Uh, so she's now in her 80s. I think that would be something fun for her to try. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, this is the shade Ladylike. So the polish brand that I'd recommend to my mom is actually one that she already owns and swears by, and that is Zoya. And I don't know. I just feel like this formula really works for you. It peels on my nails, but I think that's just everybody's nails are different. So, that's true. Yes. And then this color is called LC. The second question is hashtag office polish brand recommendation. So I would probably recommend Zoya for that. <laughs> Uh, seriously, because I think they have such a great color assort assortment, and I actually picked up two that I think are really uh, great nail polish, office nail polish colors, and this is, what color? Neva? Nevea. Nevea. Sorry, I had to read on my glasses. And it's on. like a pinky nude, it has a little micro shimmer in it, it's quite pretty, and then this one is... Portia. Portia. Another nude, but probably has a little bit more of a purple undertone or a lavender undertone. So I kind of did a mixture gel and regular polish because I wear gels to work. Um, this is not a color I'd recommend going to work in um, unless your office is okay with that, but this is the Sally Hansen gel polish. This particular color is called Pat on the Black, but I just am obsessed with their formula. Mm. I, it's the one that lasts the longest on my nails and I'm very hard on my nails. The third question is hashtag budget polish brand recommendation. So the budget brand that I would recommend would be the Wet n Wild Mega Last. Mm -hmm. This is a surprisingly wonderful formula and it's like $1.99 or something. It's great. It really is great. The brush is pretty big but um, I really like it. It's, it's a great, uh, you can really just get in there and Mm -hmm. Get it, get the job done in really almost two swipes. This color is the most beautiful color I've ever used in my entire life. It takes me three coats to make it opaque, but I am obsessed and I fully endorse this. This is answer. called Sugar Coat, and it's probably one of like the mm -hmm. most perfect pinky nudes. And we had different undertones, and it works for both of us. Yeah, it, it's not too warm, it's not too cool, mm -hmm. it's really great. And then number four, which is we're kind of combining three and four together is hashtag underrated polish brand under five. So I'm not a huge lover of this polish brand, but I think it's okay. Um, and that's the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. This color is called Sun Kissed. Um, but it's, it's, it chips easily. Mm -hmm. well, but I also think that it's also because I, um, I'm not careful with my nails. I use, I like, you use them as I tools. Use, them. <laughs> use them as tools. Yeah. Mm. I guess. But the budget brands are good if you want a color that's maybe not your traditional mm -hmm. 
Hence why uh, this is the color. Fashion that color. This is kind of a trendy color, and it's a good way to experiment with that kind of a, a color. So, you know, there's a place in your world in your uh, nail polish collection for something like this, even I though agree. it doesn't last that long. Question number five is underrated polish brand under ten. I don't know if this is really underrated, but it is does fall in the under ten category. I don't have a lot of polish under ten, and this is the Nicole by OPI. And um, the shade is uh, personally speaking. Personally speaking, yes. <laughs> I actually really love this. It, it does have um, a little bit of shimmer in it, uh, but I really like it. And I find, do you find that shimmers wear better? They last longer. They're a little bit harder. They have more grip to them. They they tend not to chip as quickly. They're too. a pain to get off. Well, glitter. But this isn't glitter. But this is just you know a. Uh, shimmer. Anyway, that's just my little thought on that. So my polish brand under 10 is I think a brand that some people are really going to love and then some people are really going to like hate, but um, Orly. I don't know why, but this is the polish that I think is the best under 10. This, I think it's $8. Eight and some change, maybe nine. Mm -hmm. But in this color is called Glow Stick and I love this for the summertime. I think it's great. But this Kate is, brought it. She brought all the fun colors up here. I did. <laughs> I brought all of my fun kind of out of the box colors. But I just I think this is really great. And the formula wears really well and I think it's it's worth in the yeah. little window. Mm -hmm. I personally think. Okay. Number six is hashtag polish brand for small nail beds. I really didn't. I didn't really know how to answer this question. Yeah. So, and I thought you brought up a great point when we were downstairs picking our polish. Is oh, yeah. You said, you know, uh, it has a, to do with the brush. A, a brush, you know. Most a, brushes are relatively similar, so I think that. Well, this is Zoya that she's holding up, but I also think that Essie and Zoya are very similar in their brush, like thickness skinniness whatever as opposed to this brush which is very wide same with OPI OPI's brushes are very wide so like I this. wouldn't say this is you know, drip. <laughs> you know this is probably not a good choice mm -hmm. whereas uh, Zoya or OPI have a skinnier brush and probably are no, better Zoya and Essie oh Zoya and Essie yes OPI has a fat brush so so you so you brought up the brush thing mm -hmm. so I mean Essie. But then I think if you're a gel polish wearer and you want something with a skinnier brush, I think that the best brand with the skinniest brushes for gel is definitely a Sensation Nail. I just think that their brushes are, they're a little bit bigger than the Essie and the Zoya brushes, but I feel like mm. they're still really great, especially because you're not supposed to touch your cuticles right. when you do gels mm -hmm. to make them last longer. So yeah. Essie, anything with a small brush really. Right. So, oh, this is uh, Playdate, which, this little Essie color, which is my favorite, and then this one is mostly mint, so. Plus, I also think uh, color choice is important when you have really small mm -hmm. nail beds. I don't think you want a really dark color. I think you, you know, if you want to maximize the look of your nails, you probably want something that's close to your skin tone or a nude-ish kind of color. Okay, number seven is hashtag best brand for blue polish, and you don't have... Uh, I never wear blue, and I, I don't do. own any blue. That's me. <laughs> I, again, personally think the Essie has the, like, widest selection of blue. This is Blossom Dandy. I'm actually not sure if this is in the permit collection. Number eight is hashtag polish brand with the best formula. Kate's an Essie girl. I am a Zoya girl. <laughs> I, I know this is kind of boring, but I just really love Zoya polish. I think it, it has... The greatest formula. It wears really long on me. <laughs> Not on you, mm -hmm. but it wears really long on me. And they have such a broad color selection. It's uh, really terrific and it's super easy to like shop on their uh, mm -hmm. website, to, you know, because Zoe is not really sold in that many places or not even where we live here. Um, but they do a great job of breaking it down by cool or warm tones, they tell you how sheer or how opaque it is, does it have glitter, and you can sort on all of those things, so oh, I love Zoya for that. Mm -hmm. I personally think that Essie has the best formula, <laughs> but that's because Essie can last for a week and a half on me without chipping, and I don't know why. I know that there are some people who hate Essie because all it does is chip, but I don't know if it's because my nails, I just keep them really short. 
but this is my holy grail and yeah. I love it so much. And this color is called Vibrant Vibes. But like my mom said, I brought up all my fun colors for today. You did. I'm really glad you did because mm -hmm. it's really fun to, to look at them. So number nine is hashtag polish that wowed you. All right. So we both did gel for this. Yeah. I think gel nail polish is amazing. I, you know, whether you get it done at a salon or whether you can do it at home, mm -hmm. I think it is the most magnificent invention on the planet. You can easily go, you know, 10 to 14 days on a, on a manicure. Um, and that's what I'm wearing on my nails today mm -hmm. in the color Cherry Cherry Bang Bang. So that's this color here. And I really love this Sally Hansen gel salon gel manicure this is the brand that we own the most of we share all of our gels and uh i have other brands and they're fine but this i for some reason i really like this the best mm -hmm. so this really wowed me i was like what i can be that hard on my nails and still have a manicure that's awesome so for this like i said same thing with gels but um i was really kind of blown away by the red carpet brand i don't know why i just didn't have very high expectations for it because I, I, I feel like it's never really talked about. Um, this one is a color that I got my mom hooked on. This is called Call My Agent. Oh, but this is such this a beautiful is, color. This is a really pretty color. It's like mm -hmm. just a great, slightly dark nude. You know, it's so if you don't want to mm -hmm. do a real pale nude, it's a great darker so, nude. Okay, number 10, which is the last one that was on the, the original tag. Yes. Whoa, I just drew a blank. So this is hashtag cutish. Cutish. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag cutest polish packaging. Boy, that's kind of hard to say. Yeah, cutish. <laughs> cutish. So I brought up two because, yeah, it's my channel. I can do whatever I want. Um, I really think the Smith & Colt polish is just gorgeous. I think it's so unique. It looks really glam. And, you know, for those of you not familiar, you just pull this off and it just screws off. Uh, but I love, I love this, this packaging is just spectacular. Like you could set that out on your vanity and, and it would be really pretty. Mm -hmm. And the other, other one that I think has really great packaging is Marc Jacobs. Now, I feel that way about that entire bloody line. It's just like, oh, the pack, whoever designed their packaging <laughs> did such a great job. And it's just it's so pretty, it's so sleek. And again, this is the same thing where you just pull off the top. But I just love, just love the packaging. Um, I'm just gonna assume that everybody knows what I'm gonna choose. <laughs> and that's Essie. I don't know, I just, I think they're the most aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think it's just, I think it's the square bottle. I honestly think that's what it is. And this is my favorite color in the whole entire world. And this is called Bahama Mama. I think you like that so much because they line up so nice in your whole caboodle holder. Probably. I also think it's the the white cap because what I've noticed is that a lot of nail polish brands, like I mean, if you look, they all have the black lids. Mm. I don't know, and I think the white is just it's nice. It's pretty. It's more focused on the color. We decided that we wanted to do two extra questions because would it really be us if it wasn't? Oh yeah, we have to always customize it, make it our own. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> so we're attacking these on as our bonus Jonas rounds. And so our first one, why are you laughing? I love when you say that. Bonus just, Jonas. Yeah. Okay. Well, our first bonus Jonas round is the summer color you can't live without. I think we're both very different on this. So my absolute favorite summer color is Reagan from Zoya. I just... I think it looks great on your toes, it looks great on your hands, and it's just like a pinky, purpley color. Mm -hmm. This is my kind of color for the summer. I just love, love, love it. Mm -hmm. um, this is Blanc by Essie, and it's white. I just think that everybody looks so much more tan when you have white nail polish on. I don't know. I don't know. I really love it. I, just, I never wear white polish. I think it just adds a little pop. I don't know. I always, my toenails are usually always painted white. Yeah, you wear a lot of white polish. I do. All and right. our second bonus, Jonas. <laughs> our second bonus, Jonas, is favorite base and top coat. 
Because everybody's different on this. Yeah. And we thought this might be good to include because this is certainly the foundation of any really good manicure. Mm -hmm. So um, mine is from Butter London. It's the Patent Gel Flawless Base and Top Coat. And I think they come in a set, in, like, in the box as a set. So I really like these. I think you get a great, um, a great base that helps your polish last longer. And uh, I like this. It's almost like a quasi UV gel-ish top coat, but you don't need a lamp. It just cures in the natural light. And I really like it. So my favorite base and top coat um, are from Essie. <laughs> I wear most She's of She's very it. loyal. I'm very loyal to this brand. Um, my favorite base coat is called First Base. Um, Okay, I kind of like that they're like nodding towards baseball. Maybe that's just me, but I think it's <laughs> funny. So, um, or maybe it's something else that I just am like. <laughs> okay, anyway, moving on. This is the best base coat I've ever used because <laughs> I think it really grips it out. <laughs> and my favorite top coat is the Good To Go top coat because I just think it dries so fast. <laughs> I feel like I just can't. <laughs> You're the one who started that one. <laughs> <sighs> oh, this hair. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yes. <laughs> so in case you couldn't hear that through all the laughter and giggles. <laughs> it was the good to go. Good to go. So that wraps up this tag. I uh, encourage all of you mm -hmm. to do this tag. If you don't have a channel, it's really easy to do on Instagram. Definitely check out uh, at World of Co's. We're going to have it. I'll put it here so you can easily find her. I think she's primarily a uh, nail polish. Okay. Instagram. I'm just gonna say this, but like, I wish that I had the talent to do half the things right. that she did, that she does, because I can barely paint my nails. Okay, mm -hmm. barely. Barely. And I hope she sees this video, because what is the first thing you said when you looked at her Instagram feed? I'd like to see her pretty face. Oh, yeah. Show your face, girl. We'd like to see your face, because you do great nails. We'd like to see you as well. Mm -hmm. I bet you're beautiful. So that's the tag. If you do have a, a YouTube channel, go ahead and do that. And certainly, you know, send me the link, because I'd like to see it. Thank you so much for joining us today. <laughs> and I'll see you real soon in my next video. Mm -hmm. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thumbnail, thumbnail. I hate doing thumbnails. Well, I don't have my nails painted, which is so unusual. You know what I do like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. That's the only thing that I have. Okay.